Hello everyone, welcome to Kinsway Language Center YouTube channel. In this lesson, I am going to teach you three prepositions. They are on, above and over. Okay, now let us get started. Well, first of all, let us learn the difference between on, above and over. I am not going to appear in this video today. I am going to use native speakers voices to explain, to describe the lesson, so that you will be able to improve your listening ability. You will be able to listen to native speakers and uh, you can improve your listening, so that you will be able to understand native speakers when they are talking. Okay, let us start. I would like you to watch the video until the end, you will learn the use of on, above and over when we are talking about positions, when we are talking about places where something is or someone is. We use on when we want to say that something is in a position above another thing and touching it. Now look at this picture. What can you see? There is a table in this picture. Is there anything on the table? No, there is nothing on the table. Well, now look at this picture. What can you see in this picture? In this picture you can see a table and a book. Where is the book? Well, the book is on the table. Or you can say, There is a book on the table. Look, the book is above and touching the table. So, when somebody asks us, Where is the book? We say the book is on the table. Now, you answer the following questions. Where is the pillow? The pillow is on the bed. Where is the calculator? The calculator is on the table. Where is the electric iron? The electric iron is on the ironing board. Where is the cat? The cat is on the roof. Well, I hope you understood how to use on when we are talking about a position above something, but specially when it is touching the surface. We use on when we are talking about a position above something and it is touching and resting on it. Now let us learn above and see how above is used. Listen to this very carefully and look at the pictures and improve your English. Ok, now let us learn how to use above. We use above to say that something is in a higher position than something else. Now look at this picture. What can you see? Yes, you can see a table, three chairs, some fruits and a lamp. Now where is the lamp? Is it on the table? No, it's not touching the table. So, we can't say that it's on the table. How do you answer this question? Where is the lamp? Well, the answer is, the lamp is above the table. Well, I hope you now understand how to use above.
Now, you answer the following questions. Where is the ceiling fan? The fan is above the bed. Where is the mosquito net? The mosquito net is above the bed. Where is the clock? The clock is above the door. Where is the picture? The picture is above the bed. I hope you learned that as well. Now it's time for us to learn over. Over. We use over when we are talking about someone or something moving across. Over means uh, moving across from one side to the other side. Over. Not touching the thing. Right? Over. You have seen many things moving over. An aeroplane is flying over the house. Or sometimes that man jumped over the fence. So, we use over when someone or something's moving across from one side to the other side. Let's learn that as well. Well, now let's talk about over. We use over when someone or something is moving across from one side to the other side. Now look at this picture. What can you see? Well, you can see a tree. Now look at the picture again and see what is happening. Can you see a bird? What is the bird doing? It's flying, isn't it? How do you describe this situation? Well, to describe a situation like this you must use the preposition over. Look, where is the bird flying? Well, the bird is flying over the tree. It is moving from one side to the other side. So, we say the bird is flying over the tree. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson as well. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe Kinsway Language Center and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. Okay. Until I see you with the next program, goodbye and good luck.